Good day, I'm Ralph Schwartz. Welcome to Geoterex Outdoors Australia. Recently I did a video and showed a couple of top down rigs that I've developed. One with a, a little tripod and an, another with the, the main tripod I'm filming from here. So what I thought I'd do is design a, a little top down rig and I'll show you what I've got in mind. Alright, so what I want to do is have something that's wide enough and if I'm working on detail and I need to, to get closer, my head isn't in. So what I want is something with some fairly broad legs that will come up, give me a cross beam with a number of mount options in the quarter inch coarse screws and I've got plenty of those around. So basically it's going to look like this. Alright, this is what I've come up with. <clears throat> Essentially you've got two supports there on a fairly long base that gives it some stability. I've got, uh, got it braced at the back there so it's not going to wobble too much. And I can screw down into that. I've got a couple of holes that I've designed in here as well as the top. Those holes will be able to <clears throat> allow me to take this down, if, if zoom is an issue, I can take this down to different levels or I can use those holes to attach a light. Now, a couple of the lights that I've got, and I'll show you, I did a review on these quite some time back there, the Andoa little LED lights, I find them absolutely fantastic. The, the light quality and the light brightness would be perfect to use this fitting here as well as, here let's put this camera down, that's got a quarter inch thread there and be able to attach those and, uh, and move them around and do the same thing over here, put holes there so I can either put the this support up or down or I can use them to plug lights in. So that's what I plan to do. Let's see how it comes together. One of the things that this rig won't be able to do simply because of the size is, is take the big heavy camera with the, with the big lens. This is going to, going to be able to take something like one of these little phone caddies that uh, I've, I've mentioned in a previous video and that would be able to screw on underneath there. This Samsung will quite comfortably hang on the bottom of that and then I can move the, not only the, I can move to a couple of holes there but I can move the camera within here. So let's get busy and start building.
All right, so so this is the rig just quickly thrown together and it's proof of concept. Let me see what it looks like and see if I put this camera in that little holder. Which, let's see what a, a top-down setting looks like here and at the same time I'll put you back there and put the Samsung in there. So what I need to do is work out how to attach that a little better. So I'll see. <clears throat> All right, so the drawing, I've done everything exactly as it looks in here with the addition of the plywood base just to give it a little bit more stability and that's what I have the that's that needs to be exaggerated a bit more the whole thing isn't in scale but this is what I've got and I'm got an area there that I can work in and I can zoom out that little bit more fantastic now all I've got to do is do a couple of reviews from it and see that it actually does what I need it to do. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Please give us a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. And thanks for watching.